I think we all know that the art we create has some kind of value. We just don't always feel or act as if that's true. At least for myself, I know I don't always. I never doubted that the music I write has some kind of significance, um, regardless of how many people listen to it. Still, you know, by my mid-twenties, I got really good at finding reasons to not pick up my guitar or take note of some good lyrics that I come up with. There are more important things to do right now. Finishing this is going to take a long time. No one is going to listen to this when I put it out anyway. Now, we're supposed to do art for the love of it. It's frustrating that when it falls by the wayside in life, we begin to think that the passion we have just isn't enough for a sustenance. Truly, there are important adult things that writing, music, painting, and drawing don't directly solve. It got me thinking, though, art has always been a part of human existence. If it doesn't really solve finding a new job, preparing for the next chapter in life, or keeping physically fit, why keep it around? As we get older, why not let the art die? Number one, Art teaches us how to apply ourselves. Art is fun, but art is also pretty difficult. When I teach Taekwondo, I try to show my students that doing your best is a habit. The best someone can do definitely looks different from day to day, but I believe that giving something your best shot, whether the task is difficult or easy, or whether you'll be recognized for it or not, goes a long way in relationships and even for our own self-esteem. Poetry, recording a song, painting, sculptures, drawing, these aren't easy projects. Art demands that we put a level of effort into what we're working on so that we at least satisfy ourselves at the end. We appreciate the people around us who we can count on to do their best. Art is definitely not the only way to develop this as a habit, but it's definitely an exercise to engage with that effort and rigor and be proud of that effort at the end regardless of the result. Number two, art makes you a better person. We do things like go to the gym, eat our vegetables, drink water, or try to sleep on time so we can take care of ourselves. We prioritize these habits because we know that they're good for us. In truth, I just like who I am a lot more when music has a more active role in my life. I wish there were a way that playing my guitar or my drum set would allow me to skip my leg day at the gym, but even if it doesn't, there's a satisfaction I get when I see that I mastered something on the drums that used to scare me when I was a teenager, or I can finally do something other than power chords on the guitar. I think allowing ourselves to invest time into a project that might not yield any material reward, but doing it because we'll know we'll like ourselves more and we'll become more because of that project, you know, I wonder that's probably a good mindset to adopt. Now, I don't expect this sort of reasoning to change all of my off days when it comes to lack of motivation to create. I think it's normal to have days where the desire to make something and share it is just more difficult. I believe though that art left idol calls out to us. And I think it calls out to us in these ideas that we get when we really have the desire to try to make something new. I think just answering that call a little more often is probably a good thing for us and probably also for the people around us. Creating art for a better you, for that relationship with yourself and that relationship with everyone around you. I think that's why art is worth it.